Hey YouTube, Texas Gear Reviews here. I know I haven't did a video in a while. It's been a couple weeks since I put one out. Um, I want to apologize for that. I've been working on uh, my other two channels a little bit. Actually, Texas Blades has been uh, kind of going downhill as well. I haven't done a video over there in probably about the same amount of time. It's probably been a week and a half over there. So I just want to apologize. We've just been busy working on the other channel. Uh, me and my wife just renewed our vows, so we had to deal with that whole thing, and uh, it was her first ceremony, so we wanted it to be kind of special, and we devoted most of our free time to that. Uh, the videos that I could do, I had to do for Rando Survivor to keep that channel going, so uh, we'll have more videos coming out at least once a week here. We should be back on schedule in the next few weeks, but I'll have this one uploaded this week so we'll have a video this week and then next week we probably won't and then I'll start back on the one week schedule again every Sunday uh, and today I just want to do a quick overview on a new product we just picked up it's a Coglins lightweight dry bag uh, this is the 10 liter bag 7.4 inches by 14.8 inches uh, we are going to do an update on this because I'm going to test this thing uh, I'm going to throw it through the ringer uh, I can tell you that we've we have opened it and we have sealed it and I pressed on it oh, and no air came out and you just fold it three times Let's you just fold it three times and then snap these two hooks together so I'm not losing any any air out of this so it should be watertight um, it does have the round bottom which makes it easier to cram stuff in there. Uh, this is just going to be used for clothing in the bug out bag. But you can see uh, they call it 10 liters. I don't see 10 liters out of it unless it's all the way opened. Uh, you're probably not going to fit 10 liters in this thing, but uh, it is nice size for a small dry bag. Let's see if they have any other specs on here for it. It is a tear resistant rip stop material, uh, roll top closure, waterproof tape seams. Um, Looks like that's about it. It says it's great for backpacking, travel, and water sports. Right on. Uh, we're going to be using this for the bug out bag. But I'm going to take it camping, and we're going to test it. Uh, we're going to fill it up with some stuff and throw it around in water. I'm going to hang it while it's raining and just see what happens with it. Uh, and we may do some of that testing around the house, but we'll definitely come back and let you guys know how this thing perform performs. Again, this is the Coglins brand 10 liter uh, you can pick it up on Amazon for right around seven dollars I believe that's what I paid for this one is seven bucks um, it is ultra light and very compact you can see you can get all the air out of it rolls up nice and small so you could just keep this in your bag just in case you need it. Uh, you wouldn't actually have to use it. Although, you know, if it's in there, you may as well throw your clothes in there and make sure those stay dry. Because anybody who's ever hiked or uh, did any kind of trail uh, blazing with wet clothes in a pack knows it's a pain in the neck. So um, again, we'll be updating this. We'll let you guys know how it's holding up. We'll let you guys know how the tests go. Uh, maybe we'll get some of that on film. Uh, be looking out for those videos. That's going to be it for this one. As always, thanks for watching YouTube.